something. A lot awkward. of girls talk to Nick, and he doesn't know what to do. Don't. That's not true. <laughs> it, it is. No, I mean when it's like when it's like ten girls in front of him, he doesn't know how to handle that. Dude. <laughs> Thank you, Canary. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, man. Thank you for joining us on Canary Sessions. My name is Hudson, and today in the studio we have the Corduroys. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, for us. thanks for having me. Appreciate it. down the line and introduce yourselves and say what you play. Hello, my name is Nick Van Buskirk. I play the bass guitar and I also sing sometimes. Hello, my name is Ethan Golden. I play guitar, I sing, and I play the keyboards as well. I'm Ricky Perez. I play the drums and I never get to sing. I'm Logan Butler and I play the guitar and I fully support the not allowing of Ricky to sing. Hell yeah. Who are your biggest music inspirations? 
You want to just go down the line, I yeah. guess, per person? Yeah. Nick. Uh, yeah, it's definitely different for everyone. Um, I, it's hard for me to choose favorites, but in the past year, I've been listening to a lot of Parquet, parquet Courts and Lamelda, and so those have really inspired me a lot. I, I used to listen to a lot of Led Zeppelin, and that's a big part of what inspires my bass playing. And obviously the Beatles. I think we're all Beatles fans to some extent. Um, Do you have a favorite Beatles record? Uh, probably Rubber Soul, Yeah, I would say. Yeah, yeah or Revolver. One of those two. Okay. Or Abbey Road. Or, or all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. But yeah probably Rubber Soul, I would say. Mm. Uh, yeah, Beatles, uh, but specifically I'm really about Paul McCartney as okay. a person. Uh, there's this band called Big Star that's not too well known that I'm really into. Um, I'm also big into Led Zeppelin, Metronomy, Porches, Mac DeMarco, Tame Impala, Temples, all the good indie stuff, I guess. I'm also a big fan of the Beatles uh, and the Rolling Stones. I like that style of drumming, for sure. And I'm more fascinated with, it goes between George Harrison and John Lennon. And my favorite Beatles record, I think, is Abbey Road. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so a lot of my musical influence comes from jazz, specifically like saxophone players, especially like Charlie Parker and John Coltrane and mm -hmm. Joe Henderson and people like that. But as far as rock music goes, like I grew up listening to like, Green Day and King's X and also the Beatles. I just feel like that's a rite of passage to listen to the Beatles yeah. when you're learning to play rock. But yeah, King's X, um, Rage Against the Machine, a bunch of other bands like that. Uh, there's one guitarist, Guthrie Govin, too. I really like his playing a lot. Beatles record. Um, I don't really have a favorite Beatles record. I'm the odd man out. I, can't, I don't really know enough about them to pick a favorite album. Who are the Beatles, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No one, who needs them? No one knows Beatles? <laughs> Just for the record, uh, in the past, we've been known to play a lot of rock band, a lot of Beatles rock band. I think that's where we've really honed in our craft. I do like Magical Mystery Tour a lot. Yeah. yeah. You've got an answer. So you all played the Beatles rock band a lot? Oh, like, yeah. Dude, I yeah. had that one out like, right when it came out. When I was yeah. Is that where you like honed your skills as a band, and you're like, okay, I yeah, think we're, yeah. I think we're, we can start now. Yeah. Absolutely, we're about to play expert level. Yeah. Uh, we've yeah. been stuck on hard for a little bit yeah. because it's hard. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. it's, pretty, it's pretty hard. Yeah, I think uh, there was kind of a resurgence in our friend group of playing Beatles rock band because we just found one of the random like drum kits, and then we. You went hunting. Yeah, we went to like every thrift store and every Edward McKay that we could find to find some vocal mics and some guitars and stuff. And yeah, working on Helter Skelter nice. hard mode. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you got anything to say? He just handed this to me, so I'm just going to say something. Okay. That's it. Something. <laughs> cool. Tired of the situation He packed his bags for a short vacation Didn't tell anyone He snuck off alone Down the road to an unknown location Quite a strange vocation for a man Who's got a nine to five job Always cared about his report Cared about his rapport Just wanted to make ends meet Cause shit ain't free Quite a strange vocation for a man Who knew it was whack So he took his life back That man took his life right back Knew everyone would talk smack Still he took his life back
He knew it was whack So he took his life back That man took his life right back Knew everyone would talk smack But still he took his life back That man took his life right back Knew everyone would talk smack But still he took his life back How did you all meet each other? Hmm. Um, we should like go down the line. Yeah. Like this is gonna be a mis different. mix match of different answers. So. Okay. Um, I have a really bad memory. I met Ricky in high school uh, when you we. To, like, give us a horrible memory about Ricky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I every day in high school I'd come and I'd come in at, right when the bell rang, and I'm always in a bad mood. And this was after I knew Ricky. Here's a really bad memory. Um, <laughs> so the bell rang. I walk in. And I think he just, like, playfully, like, hit me on the shoulder or something. And I slapped him as hard as I could and ran away. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but I didn't head. mean to. Ricky, are you okay? Like, I don't think he is. <laughs> are you going to address it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> so in terms of how we met... Just to answer the question. There's a lot of history here. There's a lot of history here between the four of us. And there's those, there might be a novel about it. But Sparks Notes version is Nick and I met in high school, played a, a, almost every week since then. We played in the band. I played saxophone in that band. Mm -hmm. yes. I still play saxophone in that band. It's a different band. <laughs> and then Logan joined this band after a couple of years. So yeah, the other band. Nick and I... Can I please? Okay, Nick and I work. have been playing together for almost eight years now, and Logan maybe like four. Four. Yeah. And then I met Ethan at Tate Street Coffee in Greensboro, and I guess we had a mutual friend, and he came over to my house, and we discovered our love for the Beatles. He saw my record collection. So it was about a year later that we all four kind of formed this group. Mm -hmm. And it's just been rock and rolling since then. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I think Ricky just covered everything. I think Ricky just covered everything. I was trying to get yeah, I don't know where, what road Nick was going down. Uh, yeah, I was just sit, telling a story that was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's your favorite movie franchise? Oh, Ricky, go for it. <laughs> um, maybe my biggest love is film, and then music. So, uh, I have a few tattoos, one of which is from the Star Wars franchise. Okay. I love Star Wars. It's a very spiritual kind of uh, tale, and also Lord of the Rings. I think we share love in Lord of the Rings and some with Star Wars. Uh, and Ethan kind of got an interesting movie taste. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess uh, people describe my movie taste as interesting. Uh, I'm a media studies major at UNCG, so I have to like watch our, a bunch our, of yeah, yeah. You know what it's like. You gotta watch films all the time. Our cinematographer actually graduated from. Uh, from That's UNCG awesome, today. dude. Congrats. Nice. I, I wish I was there with you, but I still got a whole <laughs> semester left, dude. Um, I I don't know about franchises, but I'm really about um, you know some really good movies. Just as long as the acting's good and there's a reality there. What's I'm all about it. What's your favorite movie? Oh, God, dude. I feel like I watched one recently that should be the answer. <laughs> but I don't know if I can re remember it. There's so many movies, it's just so hard for me yeah. to pin it down. I can say my favorite TV show of that. Right. Malcolm in the Middle, dude. Okay. I'm all about that show all right. right now. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay. Logan, here you go. Um, I don't really have a favorite franchise, per se, but... Like, my favorite kinds of movies to watch are the ones that are, like, so bad, they're painfully funny. Yeah. Like, stuff like The Room and other movies like The Early Evil Deads, too. What was that movie called that we we just watched? It was, uh, yeah, we we just watched a movie, uh, me and Kivit, we just watched a movie called Quigley, which is, uh, it's got Gary Busey playing a dog. <laughs> and uh, okay. it's, if you haven't seen it, it's terrible and you should so <laughs> part of my love for those movies comes from watching this 
old TV show with my dad called Mystery Science Theater 3000, mm -hmm. yeah. where they watch that. really bad movies and make fun of them. So mm -hmm. I've just kind of had a love for that kind of stuff since I was little. Right. I think I remember my favorite movie now. All right, here Princess we go. Princess Mononoke. There we oh, go. Down. Boy. Okay. Yes. Good choice. Sorry to digress. Yeah. Continue. Continue. Oh, I think that I think that was it for me. Oh, did Nick? Cool. Okay. Oh, Nick. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of uh, Miyazaki. I the movie that comes to mind is Silence, uh, directed by Martin Scorsese, which is really good. They he blurs the lines of like morality in that. No character is completely like good or bad. You know, it's all like kind of. You don't really know like what is right, what is wrong. Well, you know what's right and wrong, but each character is so complex that no one is doing like the right thing or the wrong thing completely. So, I like that movie for that reason, and it's also really beautifully shot as well. So, yeah, awesome. All right. Can I plug in upcoming projects? Though? Yeah, sure. Should we should we have a message to our future selves? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, this is the past Corduroys talking to the present Corduroys. Congrats on your EP that just came out. That's on Spotify. And people will be checking it out, I'm sure. And you should be working on the next double album entitled Attack of the CIA Operatives. Okay. That will probably be out in a few months from now. Matter. So, so just to clarify, y'all are having an EP come out soon. Yeah. Oh, soon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're as soon we, as possible. We have finished writing an EP at this moment in time, which is not the moment in time that you're watching this. You being the audience. As we record this. Um. We. Yeah, we're right. We finished writing an EP. We're about to start recording it, and hopefully by the time that you're watching this, it's released. But if it's not, you know, go follow us on Instagram. Uh, at the underscore quarter underscore Roy's. Even if it is out, it's gonna be a great time. You should still follow us on Instagram. Yeah, even if it is out, you know, stay stay updated. You know what I'm saying? Come out to a show, hang out. Let's do it. <laughs>
Kitchen lacks a name for Promulgate this age of the vein By living in the pocket of your pockets Ever in escape Notifying all the world that someone likes your image Deep within the pocket of your pockets Ever in escape Killing all your dopamine and your serotonin Deep within the pocket of your pockets Ever in escape Killing all your dopamine and your serotonin Deep within the pocket of your pockets Ever in escape Killing all your dopamine Well, y'all set was great tonight. Thank you so well, much thanks. for coming on. Thank yeah, you, man. Thank yeah. you. Thank um, you for recording. Yeah, thanks for having us. That we'd, camera. We'd like, to, uh, we'd we'll like to plug cameras. our sponsor, Heyday Guitars. Thank you for hosting us. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Come down to 414 Brookstown Avenue, buy a guitar. To come talk to Michael, and he'll set you up. Um, and if you like this uh, content, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, hit that little bell at the bottom. Um, and we'll see you next time. My name is Hudson. <laughs>